Jonathan Lee Riches, a.k.a. JLR, Hawkins County, Tennessee Sheriff Ronnie Lawson just said that Don Wells has to spend his entire jail sentence in segregation, solitary confinement, not eligible, he's not eligible, Don Wells, for any type of work release programs. He has to spend the entire 180 days, at least 180 days, in segregation. He will not be in the general population. He will not be participating in any work release programs to get out of jail. Don Wells is not getting any special treatment here, people. Now, that could be for a variety of reasons. That could be because Don Wells, when he uh, went to jail, he told you know jail officials that he doesn't feel safe and he wants to be in solitary con confinement alone. That does happen, so you know that could be a possibility. Or you know Sheriff Lawson doesn't want to put Don Wells in danger of other inmates because, as you guys know, Summer Wells is still missing. And when individuals go to jail in reference to you know being involved with anything to do with children or child or minors. The inmates frown on that. So maybe Sheriff Lawson felt Don Wells was not uh, uh, safe in general population at all. Or this could be punitive uh, under the guise of administrative detention. This could be punitive and, you know, Sheriff Lawson's like, all right, we'll put Don Wells in segregation. Maybe he'll crack, you know, have a week or two in solitary confinement. See how it feels. I've been through it in the past. You know, I, obviously, obviously you people know, a lot of you guys know that I spent years in federal prison for bad behaviors in the past and at points I was put in solitary confinement by the administration um, you know because of bad behaviors I did and it's not cool it's not good at all to be in solitary confinement people we're talking about 24 hours a day the, the cell is cold you only come out maybe one hour a day for recreation five days a week you get fed through a food slot you don't come out limited books uh, limited showers um, the light is on usually 24 hours a day. It's bad and it can break you down and deteriorate you quick. And maybe that's the goal and objective here by Sheriff Ronnie Lawson. Because as we know, Summer Wells is still not found. And, you know, Don Wells most likely knows something. So will this break him down? And also, you know, I put out other videos. I put out another video. You know, will Don Wells eventually be charged while he's serving his time for his probation violation? You know, he might never ever get out of jail again. It's a very good possibility that as Don Wells sits for his 180 days in jail, uh, they build a case. They build a case against Don Wells for the disappearance of Summer Wells. Or, you know, they come to him and offer him a deal. You know, turn on Candace. Or if we know you're involved, speak up and we can offer you some sort of leniency. You know, it happens. So Don Wells will be spending his days in solitary confinement at least 180 days. He did get cert sentenced to uh, 11 months, 29 days. But he is eligible to, for release after 180 days. But who knows? After He, he might cause behavioral problems in prison and extend his time all the way to his max sentence. So remains to be seen. Don Wells will be spending his time in solitary confinement, a.k.a. segregation, for at least 180 days. Everyone stay safe. God bless. Justice for Summer Wells.